Y'all are real uptight. Oh, God, yeah. I really Especially, what is the one CTSJ majors? Oh, oh God, God, go away. <laughs> Them and like the DWA. Oh, DWA is awful. Worst. What people is wrong terrible. with you people? Let news flash when you get out in the real world, it's going to suck. Everyone's like so self-righteous and politically correct. And yes, that's the other thing that kills me. I oh don't give a shit I'm about not, anything. I. I was definitely in the wrong school. <laughs> As I look back on college now, I think it's funny because it's a like joke. college is a joke. Well, it's not even you're a not joke, using like, anything you learn. Unless you're like straight A about Victorian at Yale, like it really doesn't matter what grades you're getting, especially coming out of like a small college like Occidental. Like it's not like people are hunting you for jobs. I mean, like okay, first of all, yes, if you're going to grad school. Maybe. And they're then, looking at like, your transcripts. You're like, eh, whatever. Like I wrote a, an essay on my call my grad school application. I was like, why aren't you why did you be so low? Because I had fun in college. Yeah, like really what we're trying to say is whatever. college students, don't take yourself so seriously. Get drunk, get wasted, get have sloppy, fun. make bad choices. Like That's the whole point have of fun college. With your life. Yeah, like because when it ends, it ends. ends. I mean like it is like boom, brick wall, your face. Yeah, it, 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 it sucks. It's like it you graduate sucks. college and all of a sudden, like, even your hangovers start turning against yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, just the world sucks after that, so. Enjoy it. All those people who have stick up their asses. Yeah, we're pull, almost 25. Pull it out. I'm not nearly 25, so speak for yourself. Um, you're going to be 24 you're only a year away. That's not almost 25. Yeah, it I is. Be, I, I just turned 24. I would say I'm almost 23. Or, I mean, I'm almost <laughs> 24. I'm not. 25 is like. Way out there. But what I'm saying is burn a hole in your stomach. Because it gets better. You know, collapse the lung. And if you think being good is going to get you ahead in life, it's not. Don't play by the rules because you need to get ahead. And playing by the rules is only going to make you a cog in the machine. This should be a new segment called Self-Help with Ross, Ross and Alex. Alex. Big I forgot names. how good vodka tastes at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Just saying. It's three. Uh, Sorry. big names. <laughs> I was like, what? This is the text I got yesterday. I had a very vivid dream about you and your penis. This is from a girl. I responded, laugh out loud, details. She says, I told you that I didn't like having sex and you whipped out your dick and was like, I'll show you, ha 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 ha. I just think that was a funny text that I thought I'd share with everyone. Apparently, not only do boys fancy me, but so do girls. Yeah, we knew that for a long time. Oh, okay. Did we? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I guess that's true. Weirdly enough, though, I, like, 2012 was my year of no flipping. And this year, like, I have no rules. It's just, like, go back into whatever it is that you want to do with your life. I never thought I, like, my morality is, like, it teeter-totters a little bit. Yeah. Like, and I, sometimes I wonder why we're friends, because my morality is, like, black. What? And, and Ross I'm like, is like Fifty Shades of Pink. And <laughs> <laughs> Fifty Shades. It's true, but I'm saying like I'm like I don't have a lot of morals, but there are some things I stand up for. I was approached to or I got myself into a situation where I had the opportunity to be intimate with someone who was married and I just it was, it was weird. I didn't do it. Which I thought was like very admirable of me. But I just remember like we got into a bed and all of a sudden I was just like, you know, I was like, this isn't for me. Like, my niche market is like closeted gay men with girlfriends, not like closeted gay married men. Like, you gotta draw the line somewhere. So, I guess we're growing up. SBU is coming out with a Rihanna Chris Brown episode. Episode, which will be super cool. Which I cannot figure out how they're still together. Like, they were sitting next to each other at the Grammys. And I was like, really? Like, he beat the shit out of her. Like, he's such a fucking douchebag. He is a douchebag. I, like, want to have a Brianna intervention. Because I know what it's like to, like, like someone who treats you like shit, obviously, as we all, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. like, how long did it take me to get out of that? Like, forever. And, like, you keep falling back into it. Years. It's like, like, it's still not over. But I, my point <laughs> being that, like, I don't know. She just, I hate it. I hate it. I really don't care. I think it's amusing. No, I don't. But she's going to get, like, one scratch on her face, and people are going to fucking lose their shit. Lance Armstrong came out and said that he had done doped and done drugs and cheated and he decided to tell Oprah all of this. I mean like if you're gonna deny it for that long then just don't ever admit the truth. Like what did that achieve? Like did it cleanse your soul or whatever? Like who gives a fuck? Before like people were like oh well maybe he didn't. Now they're just like you're a fucking douchebag. Nah. Yeah I guess. I mean right? Like does anyone like him anymore? Not really but does anyone really care about cycling? Mm. True.
whatever. And now what's his face? The little midget guy with no legs shot his girlfriend, so. Uh, My point being though is like, people fucking suck. It wouldn't have been a big deal if neither of them were celebrities. It would just be some midget guy killed his model girlfriend. Really, we just shouldn't idolize anyone but ourselves. If you're narcissistic and only love yourself, then no one else can disappoint you. Right. That's really the message. And I also it. don't understand the world smash the nation with celebrity, but that's... You ha it doesn't time. matter because... Well, no, it's like we, I, we want their lives. That's what we want. We think that they have the best lives ever, and we want that. Right. It's like no one wants to be like, oh, the president of the United States. It's like everyone wants to be Brad Pitt. Okay, well, that's okay. not true. Obviously, either. you did not go to Oxy like I did. Speaking of, we talk about BuzzFeed a lot. Favorite website ever. Oh, if that's you're, If you're going to do it, anything, it should be like, look at porn, go to BuzzFeed. And that's all you need the internet for. And Facebook, Facebook. in between. Twitter. But if you haven't done YouTube. BuzzFeed, you need to do BuzzFeed because it has everything. It's like a better version of Reddit. Reddit, Reddit is I hate Reddit. I very hate. confusing. My best friend from home said me this stupid. link to Reddit, and I like didn't understand it. Oh. It took me a good twenty minutes to figure it's out. It's like Buzzfeed. I had to the... click on something to get to what I want was supposed to see, and not all the comments that was like what. I don't. It I, took me a while. I don't get Reddit. I've been... In other news, we might be jumping iPhone ship. Oh God! I'm so the new BlackBerry. I've never felt more powerful than I have with my BlackBerry, and I tweeted and Facebooked about that the other day. And the fucking new BlackBerry 10 looks awesome. It looks sick. I and mean, we're definitely BlackBerry people. I'm such a BlackBerry person. I had a BlackBerry for like three years before I, I got the iPhone. I only had mine for two years, but it was my greatest phone ever. Uh, I had like three different I'm just like, I'm, I loved it. I and loved so it. like, I'm just over the iPhone. I'm like, everyone fucking has an iPhone. Like, mine is, I'm just sick of it. Like, I want something new. I also like, don't I really, think it's a phone for business professionals. I really don't. You don't get your email right away. And I feel like the, yeah. the BlackBerry you get, like, if you're working and you're, like, conversating with somebody through an email. Yeah, it is it's, nice. Not it's that. nicer to have. Because BlackBerry has such a better system well, for Well, it was great for that. I just really hope BlackBerry bounces back. Like, I know that, I mean, I fucking hate droids. The Samsung Galaxy 3GS, if I see another commercial for that, I'm going to jump off the fucking building. Those phones are actually really nice. My They're dad huge. Has it's not even a phone. I mean, it's like a fucking, it's like a, a like that's a like, tablet that's almost. That's the Note. No, this is, even the Galaxy yeah, 3GS. Yeah, I know is it's like an inch big. But I am over the iPhone. Like the iPhone's great and all, but like, aren't we kind of bored of it? I think so. I am. Apple. I feel like my iPhone, which I loved being connected to now, the BlackBerry will take me a little bit of a step back, and I would be happy about that because I feel like I'll have less apps and stuff. So it's like I don't have to wake up every morning and Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Tinder, Grinder, whatever other else is on my phone, and it's just like. Ugh. I have like I miss the organic interactions between people and I think BBM will bring that back. <laughs> you check every all those things when you get up in the morning? Yeah, I'm pooping and then I just go through them all. On a side note, my job was supposed to be sending me work while I was back in while I was back in California and I have yet to receive one assignment. That's cool. Not that I'm complaining. Although the money I'm just I realized like I'm not cut out for like the nine to five working world kind of thing. Neither of us are. I'm far too creative for that. I want to just be a trust fund baby, so... Yeah, if anybody... Why couldn't you do more, Mom? God, bitch. <laughs> My parents are great, so... Yeah, well... Basically. You know what drives me crazy, also? One last thing. I always, like, I... have This is a thing that's, like, kind of happened to me. It's, like, people always assume that, like, I'm not doing anything or whatever, and, like, they'll text me last minute and be like, oh, well, like, let's do something tonight. And I'm always like, well, I have plans. And then they get mad. And I'm just like, I... My concert schedule is planned out till November of this year. Like... I know what I'm doing every weekend and what I want to do. So it's like, don't be mad because I have a social life and you don't. Are you scolding our viewers? What? No, I'm not scolding our, our viewers. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm bitching about, I don't know. I just think it's like, I don't like sitting around. So I don't understand people who are like shocked when I'm always doing something. And I apologize because I am notorious. Like, especially if I'm like trying to coordinate plans. Like I do wait until everyone kind of like presents their options. Like, oh, we're going to the stand of the night. Standard tonight. Oh, we're going to Bungalow. Oh, we're going to West Hollywood. And I'm like, okay, well, what do I want to do? Who do I want to see? I, I do do that, I admit. And then I'll wait till like 3 o'clock. And I'll be like, yeah, I'm in to like see who presents the best option. Really, I'm just saying you should Social all be thankful because I'm at level 3 on the numero numerology scale, <laughs> which means like, which basically says that like everyone wants to be in my disillusioned world. So like, I understand why everyone wants to hang out with me. Because I'm a lot of fun. Mm. Hashtag, 
Los Angeles. <laughs> Hashtag narcissist. I, I, the one thing you cannot be mad at me. The one thing I, I admit everything up front. I'm self-centered. I'm narcissistic. I don't give a shit I'm about other people. Aware. I'm blunt. So I mean, like, I don't. Understand. I just find it. That's also what I understand. People go out with me, and I act a certain way, and they're like, "God, like, what's wrong with you?" I'm like, "You, what? What do you? Mean, what's wrong? You know this? It's not like I hide behind it." No. I'm not like some quiet little person. I'm like, yo, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm just on a rant today. Yeah, I, I know. have a lot to bitch about. I don't know where this is coming from. Sorry. I'm drinking. I'm just fucking horny. <laughs> oh, is that the issue? I thought you were on your man period. I am on my man period. 